Hi, this is Lynn, and I wanted to give you all a brief tour of Office Web Apps. This has come out in 2011, 2010 time frame, and it's really great because along with the free use of OneNote, Excel, Word, and PowerPoint, you also get 25 gigs of storage on SkyDrive. All you need to get started is a Windows Live ID. So let's click the Get Started button in case you don't have one. And of course I do have one and we're going to log into my SkyDrive and take a look at my Office documents. What you see first is what has most recently occurred in your SkyDrive. Over here is where you can get started on creating a new document and you don't have to have Office on your computer even to do it. You can use Excel, Word, everything right here in the clouds and store everything in the clouds and today we're going to show you how to to save, to download, upload, and share documents using SkyDrive. So to get started, let's take a look at this document, a testing one. First of all, we're going to look at it in the browser and see what it what it looks like and what you can do. And I've heard lots of reviews that said that it's very powerful, the editing tools, uh, so much better than what you get with Google Docs. You can highlight, you can change numbers, you can uh, change fonts. There's quite a few fonts available in here. Um, there's there's a lot you can do. And and if say this was a document that had a lot of uh, um, advanced functions, click open in Excel, and then it will open Excel right in your browser. You can you can do macros. You can you know do a lot of <clears throat> more advanced edits that you can't do just using the browser. So when that opens up. Uh, this is another one we're going to look at. When that opens up, then you have the full force of Excel behind you and you can use all of those different functions and macros, anything you want to do with Excel. So I'm going to close that out because we're not going to do anything with it. But say I wanted to share it with someone. I click on the share and I can send a link to somebody or I can edit my permissions and uh, and let any number of people see it. It can be public or private. So you just start typing in somebody's email address. And I'm not going to type it in because it will bring up people from my contact list. So one thing that is important in my in my estimation is don't click that. Because if you want someone to look at it, you don't want them to have to sign into their account to do it. You just want them to be able to look at it. So we'll click cancel there. <clears throat> and we'll go back to here and it, say I wanted to download it you click the download button and I'm not sure if you can see it on your screen but anytime you want to download something it always asks you is this okay is this is this file safe and you can click save and I'm going to cancel that out because we don't really want to do that um, then the other thing I wanted to do is bring up a document this is just a test document that's in my Excel. I have Excel 2010 and a feature of that is that you can save your documents right into your SkyDrive. You have, just have to click the Save As button and then, oh, I'm sorry that was wrong, you, cl you click the Save and Send button and you can click Save to Web and it's already defaulted to my SkyDrive because I've been signed in and you can switch folders, you can make a new folder and save it and it'll be there. So I'm just going to say save as and save and it says it's already there because I've already uploaded it just to test it out and so I can minimize that look at all of my documents and there it is right there. So that's just a brief tour of Office Web Apps. Get a Windows Live ID and get one today. Hope you've enjoyed.